Stanford's office is on this floor. Hmm. I didn't expect to find something like this here. Bodies do that to you? Yes. My last job didn't go so well. I heard you complaining before. Oh, it wasn't important. It's just Paula. I don't know her. Paula Nielsen, Stanford's protege. What happened? We got woken up. Like usual. And I can't get back to sleep. What are you looking for at this time of night? I need to see Stanford. Do you know where he is? No, but I bet Paula does. She always needs to talk to him when she wakes up like that. I saw her go into the reconciliation room. Thank you. I'm gonna stay here a minute. I need to calm down. The decor is... soothing. This place is full of surprises. I need something for my head. This bracelet looks old. There's an H engraved inside. Zhu Feng. The mortals are right to be inspired by her. There's a name on it, Adam. The picture is in bad shape. It must not be recent. Annotated pictures. As if to help someone remember. Mm, this need to write everything down. Is he afraid to forget something? Needs help sleeping. A selection of contemporary music. Ugh, how awful. Looks like it could be valuable. A heavy smoker, or someone who's stressed. Oh, 
all of these notebooks are full? That must have taken some time. Better not wake him. There's something written on it. Hmm, forever yours. Signed by Nina. This notebook is blank. I hope every night isn't going to be like this, damn it. Have you tasted this coffee? It's terrible. Breathing your way to inner peace. A book by Barton Fields. That's unexpected. Take a nap tomorrow. Can I help you? It's all right. Everything is fine. Really? Let's drop this little game. Excuse me. I saw your picture in Monsignor Stanford's office. And yet you don't seem afraid of me. I spent 10 years bound to one of your kind. You call that a servant? I call it a slave. You're not from Boston. No, I'm from LA, but my mistress ran into trouble there, so we had to leave. We've been nomads ever since, never spending too much time in any one place. How did you end up here? I found myself alone for the first time in a long time, with nowhere to go, no reason to live. Then I met a man who spoke like a priest who said he could help me. So I followed him. What exactly is this floor? A safe haven where we care for tormented souls. It's where they brought me after my mistress left. I really lucked out. Helena abandoned me in a city I'd never been to, with no warning. Helena? Helena Vidic. That's my mistress. Does the name ring a bell? I've never heard that name before. She talked about leaving. She'd get these strange urges. Yeah, I know all about that. She said I was brilliant, that I deserved my place with her. She promised to embrace me. So why did she leave? Who was she for you? Are you kidding? 
She was everything. I lived for her. You can't understand what it's like to place your fate in someone else's hands. I... I was so dependent on her. Monsignor Stanford taught me to fight that. Stanford? What does he get out of it? Nothing. He has nothing to gain from it. From me and everyone else here. He's helping us. Really. Helping you? To do what? To make up for the pain we've caused. It sounds like you have a new master. It's not like that. What he's doing is important, and not just for me. Tell me where he is. He should be here. I wanted to talk to him. Where then? What do you want with him? You didn't answer me. You're afraid of him, aren't you? You're here to kill him. That's all your kind are good for. You know what I am. You cannot defy me. I might surprise you. I asked you a question. That's all there is to it. Am I right? Barking out orders to your servants? You have no respect for us. I had a retainer that I respected. Past tense? I lost her. I'd really like to believe you. The real problem is that there's something inside you that makes you abandon us. You bind us to you, and we become dependent on you. It's like a drug. Don't you have any qualms about leaving us behind? You're not our children. Your survival is your own responsibility, whether we are there or not. That's what I thought. So you're no better than humans. All your promises about eternity are nothing but bullshit. Stanford's trying to save us. I want to get my old life back. You idealize your past like some old lady when the future could be yours that's the problem with mortals they're afraid of new beginnings what sort of new beginning whatever you want time is freedom that's what helena said she may have been right maybe you're trying to manipulate me too stanford warned us he really cares about us you on the other hand have nothing to offer You're speaking to an immortal who's existed for more than 300 years. Do you really think I have nothing to offer? Eternity would be too simple of an answer. I can offer you more than you could ever imagine. You remind me of my former mistress. I could never refuse her anything. I wanted to see him about my insomnia. He asked me to wait. It wasn't like him. He seemed preoccupied. He told me... I think he's in the hospital's chapel. You think, or you're sure? He said he was going there. I don't know anything more. Great. You will forget all about this conversation and stay here. I don't feel very well. I'm going to stay here. I've located Stanford. There's no time to waste. I can get to the hospital by taking the elevator.
Galen! I'm sorry, I really must hurry. <sighs> Stanford isn't in his office. He can't be far. But how will I find him in this labyrinth? Let's see if there's anything that could help me here. Oh my god, your face! What happened? I crossed paths with Stanford. And you survived? My objective has not changed. Really? What did you expect? You'll do whatever the heavens command. I'm quite certain the future has some surprises in store for us. Surprises? Your initial failure could be a sign. Stanford is a very resourceful man. There's a reason the Vatican chose him to be in charge here. No one is irreplaceable. Not him. The entire Boston operation depends on him. He is unique. You'll see. What if you were destined to meet him, but not to kill him? We'll soon see. But first, I have to find him. This path is yours to walk alone. Mine shall lead me far from this place. Why are you here? I'm just collecting a few things. From Stanford? I'm leaving. I've made my decision. But not before packing what I need to elude them. Go in peace. I hope we shall meet again. Be careful what you wish for. Goodbye, Joseph. Stanford is the linchpin of this operation. All the more reason to eliminate him. The members of the Society of St. Leopold all have the same number. That's very precise. Where do they get their intel? Higher clearance required. well-protected. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. It won't open. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. It won't open. The keyhole is small. I have damaged the lock. It's too damaged to be opened. I'll be able to locate Stanford with this computer, but which one is he? I've located Stanford. There's no time to waste. I can get to the hospital by taking the elevator. Might as well take it. Due to recent issues, we have implemented a new prisoner transfer...
I thought about Helena last night. Oh, interesting. It's been a few days since you spoke about her. It's dumb. I heard this song on the radio. A song I used to listen to with her. And? I... Be honest. There's no reason to be ashamed. I think I miss her. You feel like life is dull now, don't you? Yeah. That's not love, Paula. That's dependency. She tricked you. I know, but I can't help it. If you talk things out with me, you'll make progress in time. Just like with your nightmares. I know that Frank helped you a lot, too. Yeah, he's doing his best, but I still have bad dreams. I'm so ashamed. They'll go away eventually. You're already doing so much better. It must be a blank implant. Hmm. These people travel a lot, but under high surveillance. It appears this implant has never been used. This implant looks new. my clearance level. Luckily, I was able to keep this implant. These marks are unusual. I was expecting more resistance. Either they're overconfident, or their attention is focused elsewhere. All right, Stanford is in the hospital chapel. 